Hey mates, you are at Tech Solutions. In this video we are going to show you how to install OpenSUSE 15.4 Leap Edition with manual Linux partitions on your PC or laptop. You must be seeing OpenSUSE installer boot screen. To be able to reach at this stage of installation you must have downloaded the ISO installer image from official source and made up a bootable USB out of it. Quickly choose installation and hit enter to start booting up. The initial boot may take up a while. You must be seeing the graphical installer on your screens. The installer will automatically initialize the network configuration for you. Just have a little patience. The installer will also check for updates for itself. Choose your language and accept the license agreement. Online repositories can be enabled during this install which can enable us to install the most recent packages from online sources. You can skip enabling repository as well. Choose your preferred system role. For a normal computing you can choose any of the provided desktops like KDE, GNOME or XFCE. Choice is all yours. If you want to install OpenSUSE for other purposes you can choose it as well. GNOME is our preferred choice. For the partitions let's select Expert Partitioner. If you don't want to go with it you can choose the guided setup which can create and set up partitions for you automatically. Let's move ahead with Expert Mode. First of all you need to know about your computer setup. MBR Partition Table is used for BIOS mode. If you are on a UEFI based PC, GPT Partition Table will be used. We are on a 100 GB of disk and or a UEFI based PC. Let's create partition table on the disk. Let's create our first partition. This will be called a boot partition. Its size would be 500 MB and its role will be as FE boot partition. Its file system will be FAT. Its mount point would be boot slash FE and the partition ID will be FE system partition. This is the most important partition for correct booting of your Linux. Let's create our second partition. This will be our root partition. Its size can vary for different users. For us we are going to size it 45 gigabytes. Its role would be as operating system. Its file system can be ext4 or btrfs. Both are equally good. Its mount point would be root with partition ID of Linux partition. You must be seeing the sub volumes for different Linux folders have been created automatically. Let's create our third partition. This would be called swap partition. Its role would be swap. Its file system and mount point will also be swap. You can size it as of your physical RAM. Lastly we will create our home partition. Its role would be as data. 
Its file system can be XFS and its mount point will be home. That's all to set up for partitions. We can now install OpenSUSE without any hassle. Click next to move ahead. Choose your region and clock settings. Enter details for new user creation. You can use the same password for administrator. You can also skip the user creation. This is the summary of the changes made for the installation of OpenSUSE. Click install and confirm it as well. The installation will start and may take a while to complete. Your patience in this regard is required. It's done. The system needs to reboot now. Reboot it. Welcome back. Your brand new OpenSUSE has been installed successfully and booted up. Start using it. Anything to ask? Comment it. Thanks for watching. Good day.